Alright, welcome back everyone to an episode of Morocco! So guys, we are back here in today's episode where I'm having trouble right now setting my countdown to where I can actually like do stuff. Okay, just fix the countdown so everything's cool. So guys, we're back here today where I am starting a war. To not all end all wars, because that does not that does not become a thing until like a hundred years later when we actually invent machine guns and we start mowing down Europeans. But that's at a later date. But for now we're just uh, the war to end all wars has not yet come to pass. We still have to deal with just regular wars. You know, the regular kind. The ones that just match slaughter thousands of people. And just not hundred thousand, so, yeah. Kind of a bummer. I know, I know it's kind of a buzzkill sometimes to realize that, but... Just the way the world is right now. Not much we can really change it. So, anyways, guys. I'm back with my little... Massive fle My massive fleet and my massive, like... Expression right now like right now. I'm really insanely happy because this week. I can just Record there is absolutely not much going on in the, in the world right now in terms of like school and I Am really happy with that <laughs> like you guys do not know how happy I am to just have a day to just relax There's absolutely nothing going on this week for me in terms of school in terms of like people to deal with in terms of anything Why are we sending? Oh, yeah, this is the army that died I was like, why are we sending an army all the way over there? Oh, it died. Ah, that makes sense. Now I remember, it's... Everything's slowly coming back to me. Okay, you guys go invade that. So, yeah, we're going to... Yeah, it's just really good. Come back to this game and play it. That's all I'm saying. So, it's also really good to come back to the point where I can actually... We have... This is a good thing. I think it's finally good that we have finally advanced our technological point to a point where we are actually starting to match the French. Look at that. 22, 23, 22, 22. We are only one tech behind. Oh my goodness, and I'm so happy of that. That means I can finally start investing into some of these ideals. And what I think I'm going to try to do, because I kind of hate this a lot, I'm really going to try to um, tech down the rest of the administrative ideas and maybe some of the naval ideas. Because right now, we're actually not in any, any of the naval ideas. Because I remember every time I keep forgetting to remind myself that, one, the naval ideas... You need them for when you try to do a peace deal. So when you want to do a peace deal, make sure you have some naval ideas because they really do come in handy. Yeah, sometimes I forget about that, people. I I know I'm I'm one of the I'm, I'm a very scattered brain kind of gamer when it comes to like this game. I know, but I'm actually to tell you the truth, I'm not too bad at this game either. At the same time, and this this still weirds me out. Like Mexico, England, and Floridian, uh, Florida. Ugh. And Castile's even up there. Oh my goodness, it's so weird. Uh, just don't look at just don't look at America. Just don't look at America. It looks weird. Okay, Russia. We still rival. Yes, you guys still hate me. So let's see. Yeah, this. To tell you the truth, guys, there's not really many people I can really improve relationships with that would really like me. Serbia is gonna hate me no matter what I do, and they're not gonna accept vassalization even if I tried. Um, but what we can start thinking about is who do we want to start breaking up in here to kind of make a new state so that we can use them to kind of feed in cores. Um, if, if, personally, I hope that Serbia gets just a little bit smaller because then we could like feed them one core. <laughs> no, never mind, no. Uh, actually, hmm, actually maybe on a serious note, maybe we could actually get Naples as a little buddy. You know, make them a part of our, um, you know, upper vassalization to them. Uh, not in the same religious group. Oh, never mind. You guys will not accept. So send my diplomat back. Yeah, okay. Let's just, there's, there's, I could do this all off screen. So let's just get back to the game. We call diplomat. Yeah, if, if, if they want to be, if they don't want to talk to me right now, that's fine. Yeah, you guys are not going to be able to attack me. I have good armies all the way around. Okay. These guys go back here. Yeah, please go back there because I really don't want my armies to be attacked. You guys go right there. Yeah, the the annexation of all these places are going to take a little bit, but we're slowly getting there, which is what I like. All right, there's a place right here that does not have fort levels, so I'm going to get that up. Oh, dang it, I don't have enough. Well, I don't have enough admin points. I know I have enough military points, but I don't have enough admin points for that. Okay, yep, they're trying to attack right back here. Oh, and there's a revolt. whoop de doo Oh. And let's see, where are they trying to, I don't know what the AI is trying to do, well I kind of know what they're trying to do, they're trying to group up all the men, 
okay? I understand that, but they're not directly attacking these guys, which is what they should be doing if they want to, you know, become a major power. Gain ducats or gain administration power? I don't really need ducats. Administration power. Like, th this is one of the few times I actually don't actually need money. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can these guys make it there in time? You know what? I better, just to be sure, I better go send an army right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we just, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do the dance, everyone. Oh. Oh, we're just going to let them attack me and see what happens. E Ooh. Dang. They're not kidding around. Okay. Come on, guys. Stay alive. Stay alive. No, stay alive. Don't you dare die on me. Don't you dare. Thank you. Thank you for not dying on me. You guys are good soldiers for not dying on me. Yeah, sorry, my naval tradition is just not worth that much. Okay, so yeah, see, these guys are going to keep trying to barrage me with all this stupid stuff, and it's going to get, this is going to be one of the most annoying wars ever to fight, because they're going to, because this is the first war we've ever fought Persia with, so obviously they're going to be all like, oh, we can win, we can do it, we can win, and I'm going to be like, no, you can't. <laughs> the only reason why I'm not completely wiping you out is because I'm not really trying that hard. Like, let's be real here. If I was really trying to, like, completely wipe you out in a second, I would have wiped you out. It's really... Yeah, see, that's the thing, though, is I get way too overconfident when I get to this point in, like, the game. Like, when, I, when I'm against smaller states, I'm just like, ha, ha, ha. You think you're people because you have... Because you think you are. Because you think you can fight me. Oh, that's so cute. Like, I, I just get to the most of the efforts right now, just painful and meaningless. And that's sometimes... I, granted, I said sometimes, kind of kills me in the long run because then they build up big. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious! They just like left themselves there vulnerable. Okay, that, that was good. That was good, but. Yeah. Oh, you son of an Oman! Oman, I will kill you. I will. <sighs> yeah. The one thing I am going to complain about is that my vassal my vassal has a 16 army death stack and it's not using it to invade. Like seriously, come on guys, I don't want to be fighting this war forever. Oh man. Um, let's see. Okay, I have this army right here right next to this army so that makes sure that army's protected. This arm this army's going to go right here. This army's going to go right there. There we go. Yeah, that should that should be able to spread out really easily. And with the 60, with the great commander in charge there, should be fine. You guys keep spreading out. I don't, I don't want these guys ever to come back to my land. Seriously, they're starting to really annoy me. Okay, and we do have some rebels. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I mean, uh, they're not really that important to the longevity of any of my empire. I don't feel, I don't feel like they're threatening me at all. For some reason, though, I have really not, not a lot of stuff. So let's just raise wartime taxes. Uh, good old wartime taxes. It's the best way to gain income. Okay, so apparently we have like uh, no one really doing stuff. So I'm just gonna go start attacking the Persians with this army. And yeah, now now you see Persia. I was kind of giving you guys a break, and now you guys kind of made me angry, at least frustrated because you guys keep trying to like think you guys can win the war, which is so it's. Frustrating to see how it's cute to see that you guys try, but it's also kind of annoying that you guys strive. I must be honest with you. Like, I just kind of want you guys to just take it, and that's it. So let me just keep spreading out on your land, just to make sure you guys don't creep up into a gigantic death ball. There we go. That should be able to. Cru that army should be able to. <laughs> four cavalry. Four cavalry should be able to crush two regiments. I actually. Actually, let's go see this battle. I, I know I should be mining whatever is going to happen over here, but this seems more important. Let's go see what's going to happen. Yep, poor cavalry just beat them up. That was hilarious. Can't even not. Okay, so they're trying to move in an army right there. Where's my uh, 23 stack? There it is. Move in an army right there. Block up the hole so that they don't get a good advantage. Or go have them... I actually don't think they're actually going to win that battle, if I must be honest with you. Yeah, they're not going to win that battle, even if they do try. Yeah, look at that. That's... Dang. See, this, this, is where my, this is where my militaristic tactics become so scary, is the fact that I can just, like, easily... 
you know, I don't even have to really try at this point. I could easily just crush them, and there's not much they can really do about it. Okay, where's my attack fleet, though, for over here? Because I feel like... I feel like there's so many ships I could be destroying right now, but I'm just, like, not paying attention, if I must be honest with you. So let's go right over here and go destroy whatever you can, okay? And then, let's see, we have 75 ships here, and let me guess, I was grouping them up to, uh, gonna go do some trade, trade dispute stuff. So let's see, where do we need our trade? I'm collecting from over here. Um, this is mostly being sent upstream. It's sending up a lot. Whoa! 24? What? Oh my goodness, this trade note is worth a lot now. Well, okay, so I'm just gonna... Let's just protect our interest, though. This is... I could probably need a little bit more trade there. A little bit more right there. I don't really need much right there. don't really need much right there. Uh... Hmm. Uh... You know, I could probably get a little bit more right there, and then this I don't really care about, so... Because it's already mine. So, I guess the two most trade nodes I should probably care about is Alexandria. So, I'm going to send, like, a good good amount of fleet to Alexandria. Alexandria, and then another fleet to Mali. Just so that we can make sure that we have good protection in all of these... Let's see, Mali, Mali, Mali. Oh look, Crimea, I can go help Crimea. Wait, where's Mali Train Node? Is it not called the Mali Train Node? I thought it was. Oh, it's called the Ivory Coast Train Node. Whoops. Whoops. A little bit of a foreigner here. Didn't know that. Okay, so Ivory Coast. There we go. So that should start to look really nice in my favor once we get the trade ships over here. And, like, it should basically kick out Portugal. Like, they should not even be a competition anymore on that node. And right now, we're making a lot of money again. Holy shit, we're making a lot of money again. Yeah, it's a good thing I put those guys there. And for um, Persian-wise... Um... Yeah, I think it's almost time to just carpet siege them. I don't... I think that's the full army. Let me see. They have a max about 38k between everyone. But I'm gonna stick this army right here. I don't. I feel like they're just not gonna be that big of a threat anymore. But just in case, I'll keep like a good. I'll move up these four armies in a good progression. Um, that way we make sure we can just like, you know, make sure nothing bad happens to us. Cause I don't. Cause that's the worst thing to happen is to have have something like bad happen to us. Anyways, course then. Oh, I want you to be my vassal so badly. Is there any way I could possibly make this happy? What happened? Uh, if I could take, like, a province, like, right there. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, what do I want? Okay, I want Iraq to be completely... Yeah, because Iraq is basically... Iraq is going to be an annoying province to deal with as it is, but I think if we just take Iraq as a, um... Huh. They're trying to attack me again. Do they... Do, do these guys just not learn the facts? Go send that army right down there. Go send this army right over here. Yeah, they're going to attack me. Okay. Just going to keep my army right here, then. Oh, shoot! Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, they shouldn't win this one. They shouldn't win this one. They should not. Oh, you. <sighs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. Somebody's gonna say in the comments. Somebody's gonna say in the comments. And yes, I know. I'm playing this really stupidly. Hey. Just really don't. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm going to have to actually play this just a little bit straight wise because I feel like I'm gonna lose so much, man, if I keep doing this. So let's actually like first let's go destroy some of these like Persian ships because obviously they've seen they've seen what my allies can do, but they haven't seen what I can do. Yeah, let's just lock them up right here. Just keep them in their ports, and we're just gonna destroy both their armies or both their ships right there. Um. In terms of men, 
I'm gonna go get an attack fleet ready. Let's go see. Where's my good general? There he is. Alright. We're gonna go combine with that unit and we're just gonna create a gigantic attack fleet. And we're just gonna go break the entire Persians. Okay. You guys retreat back to about right here. And we're just gonna go we're just gonna go create an entire attack fleet because now I'm getting now I'm basically like now the Persians have basically angered me to the point of me actually want to do stuff. And that's that's when you really should worry about me, is when I actually want to actually go fight you. That's when you really should worry. Okay. And yeah, they've got me to the point of just that. And this is and this is where I'm gonna say it, I I really should manage my people a lot better. So we're gonna go through the entire land. Let me see. Do they at war with somebody else? Yes, they're at war with the Mongols. Oh yeah, I so knew this was gonna happen. Okay. We're gonna go through the entire Persian land, and we're just gonna basically go squish every little thing we have. Oh, a doll! Oh no, nationalist going to be in my land. Huh. It still doesn't sound that threatening even when I say it like that. <laughs> uh, let's see. So yeah, sieges are getting, uh, becoming over. We would be probably about done if it wasn't because of this. So we're gonna go hunt down all the remaining Persian army. Cause I'm I'm sick of this. Yeah, I'm I'm about I'm about as tired as you guys are. Cause they should not they should know by now I'm not going to be a kind a kind person to this and definitely not gonna take this hand down. By the way, put that down again. Okay, there's it. There's it on me. Mm. No no no. Go Okay. Hey, uh you guys. You guys will give me military access. Oh no, I don't want to well manage. Military access. Yes. Yeah, thank you. And now, next part, get to go see this army destroyed. Jackals, whatever. Don't I have an army for that for that region? I'm pretty sure I have an army for that region. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was like, I knew I had an army somewhere. All right, lose piety. Siege over. Okay, you guys go right here. Okay, completely destroyed. Make sure that all of their land is completely unoccupied. I want to make sure that these guys are dead. They have nothing left. They have nothing left. And I completely siege up Iraq. Alright. You guys get to be sued for peace. Again, I'm just completely and utterly sure I do not want these guys as my vassal. Let me make sure about this. Because I want to make completely... You know, I actually do have room for it right now. Hmm. Alright, never mind. Seems like you guys get a freebie. You guys get to be my vassal. <sighs> there we go. <sighs> yeah. See, it was it was mostly because they just had nothing. And I had everything, so that's the reason why they became a vassal. So yeah, let's get down this. Get down this. And yeah, I think I think now the army is completely destroyed. Like more nationalists, I still don't care. I, I really wish I should care about this, but I really don't. Okay, but I think I think most of the men are now I think most of the men are dead. So now it's time to completely siege up these guys to just make sure they don't try anything else. And make sure we actually have a good grasp on where they all are. So we don't want them to like become big again. That's the main problem, is that they usually build up this massive army and I usually don't pay attention. Alright, let's go squish these guys. Go right here, go right there. Huh? Uh yeah, you guys aren't gonna yeah, you guys aren't gonna do anything. I saw what you guys were gonna try to do. It ain't gonna work. I'm right now in the perfect mood just to go and go destroy everything. Cause I now I'm gonna after this I'm gonna have to do so much management of my army. It's not even gonna be funny. Like it's not even gonna be funny how much I'm gonna have to do. Alright, there we go. Let's send our men over there. You guys go to DC, go down here. <sighs> yeah. All this sieging I'm gonna have to do. There we go. And let's see. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. And then you guys go right there. There we go. And I've already got my war goals, you know, completely annulled right now so that's pretty much all fine and dandy uh, so pretty much what do I want out of this war again <laughs> nah just joking people I know what I want so 
Let's see. Which ones? Quinetta. Quinetta. Yeah, look at all those cords I could give to Kunis then. Look at all that. Like, we could get so many cores. Oh man. It's kind of making my mouth water just a little bit. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of gross, but, like. Oh, come on! Alright, guys. Seems like you guys won't get to hear my story about the watering. So, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.